Hey guys, welcome back to our once a month grocery haul. Today we're trying a new fun thing. We are going to get, or try, to get almost all of our groceries for the whole month for our family of 11 at Costco. So Costco, we're going in today. And <laughs> we have backup. Nana's here, she's gonna help. And we got the babies in the stroller. Solo came along, I mean, we all came along. We're really in it for the Costco hot dog at the end of the <laughs> <laughs> it's our day off, so we're gonna get some lunch afterward and see what we can find. We don't usually shop here, so it's new for us. We have a card here, um, and I've been in a few times because it's it's closer to our church, so we've come in for church things or specific items, but uh, haven't done all our shopping here, have not done really any of our grocery shopping here before, so. We'll see how this goes. Okay, this is how we're gonna do it. Each adult's taking a category. I know my list up there says Sam's Club. <laughs> uh, we'll each take a category or two. We have three carts here. And so, yeah, each of us have this list, same exact list on our phone, and we can check it off as we go. Oh, we're starting with samples. Costco's got a big table here. 180 eggs yeah. in a month. So you help Nana figure out how much of everything. If you have questions, call me. Do you know how many chickens you have to have? <laughs> Boy, she's a lot taller than Nana. <laughs> That's why we don't go having chickens. She's not even as tall as you. Okay, so you take Judah and do what do you want to do? Just tell me. Whatever you say. Do the household or and try to do the fresh stuff. Okay. And I'll do the pantry with Luca and Micah. Dairy and frozen. Just call me if you have questions. Okay, the girls are going together. I've got these three boys. And Solo has the three little girls and Judah. I'm hoping to find at least what I can find at Sam's Club here. What I normally get at Sam's Club. And hopefully some of the items that I normally get at Aldi. And... Walmart here as well because I'm not wanting to go to a bunch of stores this month No, we won't get those this time on our maple syrup though. We need oatmeal. So let's just see if they have oats We also need honey usually I get two big honeys. Oh, these are three so I could probably get three of those Oh, and that would work about the same and it says it's organic and raw which is nice this Is three pounds for ten dollars ish and this is one pound eight ounces times three for ten dollars so i think this off, one's a better deal i checked off maple syrup so. thanks you can check off honey too okay eli put these in the cart so we got two maple syrups and then two of these three packs of honey we also need granola bars i don't know if there's any healthier options than what we normally get you like those Nutri-Grain? You, you guys like those? Yeah. Yeah, we can try those. Go ahead. Quick cooking steel oats. I just want old-fashioned oats. This does look healthy. <laughs> that price for seven pounds. Oh, but they do have old-fashioned oats. I like old-fashioned oats better. Two 10-pound bags. If I, if I usually get eight, I bet I could get away with two of these okay should we try that yeah okay let's do it oh I might be spending a lot more here for this than I do at Aldi because it's name brand this right here is why I don't buy granola because I make granola for way cheaper way 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 cheaper oh I do need a bunch of diced tomatoes so that's nice but they're organic and it's easier than buying a whole bunch of cans so put one of those boxes in please it's eight cans. Yeah, that's perfect. Not bad. I can sometimes get those for just over 50 cents a can, but not always, so it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, we're looking at white flour, but that seems like a lot for 10 pounds. A lot of money. wonder if we should just go with our regular whole ah. wheat flour. Make all our cookies with whole wheat no, flour. No, actually, this all-purpose flour is 25 pounds. Yeah, that's a really good deal. Do we go through enough that we should buy a big one? It's actually cheaper than that <laughs> 10 pound bag though. Let's get one. We just, we'll store it somewhere so it doesn't go bad. 25 pounds, oh my goodness. 
I don't like using that much white flour, but they, oh. I know, it was already broken. <laughs> don't worry about it. Mikey, you can check off white flour. Okay. Hey, they have that everything but the bagel seasoning here that we get at Trader Joe's, so that's pretty cool. It's a lot bigger. It's good, it's good on hard boiled eggs and avocados. Yeah. I need this garlic, $4.79 for this huge thing of minced garlic, I love it. Oh. Wow, I look for this everywhere for a good price. Wow. This is really good, ground Himalayan pink salt. That is such a good deal. <laughs> I'm totally getting that. What is that? It's pink Himalayan salt. I can never find a good price of that. Oh, it looks so good, but no, we won't. Yeah. Belle makes you brownies. We're doing good with our list so far. Okay, I'll check that off. Oh, yes. Yep, check off garlic powder. We forgot we need chocolate chips. You wanna grab one of those bags? Whew, that's a lot of money. It's a big bag though. This was not on my list, but I think I need it. That price is eh, it's okay. We need cocoa powder. Should we get this instead? Dog chocolate. Everybody uses it like it's a superfood. And it says nature's dark chocolate. Wonder if it, we could use it in place of cocoa powder. Yeah, I think that'd work. Looks like it. Yeah. We'll ask Nana, she'll know. <laughs> Boy, they have a lot of stuff here. Okay, catch up. I'm impressed. That three bean salad looks really good to me right now. Oh, be careful, don't drop it. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> good job, Eli. 4.49, love that. Yeah, one thing of ketchup. No, and mustard. one thing in mustard. I wish they had, ooh, do they have a, is this a better ketchup? No artificial sweeteners. Hmm. Baking crumbles, y'all know we like those. We're gonna get three bags. Oh my goodness, it's cheaper here. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's the same price. I feel like they have a lot more health food options here. <laughs> Chia seeds, hemp hearts, maybe they have that at Sam's. Some super food blend. Okay, there's the basmati rice we need. Go ahead, grab a big bag of that. Ooh, loving the Indian flavors, yum. If I was eating junk food, that's what I'd be eating. Right there, $6.99. Mm -hmm. Okay, we found a pretty good price on bread. $4 for these two loaves of whole grain, multi-grain. We're doing the bread list too, by the way. <laughs> These? We need 18 of them. No, no, no. you need six. Wait, do you, do oh, did I write 16? No, no, Ooh, no. Oh, they're no, heavy. No. That's good. No, no, That'll no. fill them up. Need, uh, don't you need nine of those? Yeah, all together we need how many loaves? 18. 18. Okay, so nine bags. Nine. Good job, guys. Bagels and tortillas still. All right, we need oh, applesauce, mm. but I bet those pouches are not the best way to buy it. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, are they all individual? Yep. I mean, nice for convenience, but 36 would not give you guys much. At least there's no sugar added. Oh my gosh, is anybody else obsessed with almond flavor and sweet things? Oh, that looks good. These are 3.9 ounce containers. The other ones are 3.17 ounce, so I think we'll try this. Okay, this is not something we would normally buy, but since we're trying to avoid all other stores, we're gonna go with this applesauce. Hey, and we'll have easy cleanup. We already have a couple containers of applesauce at home too, so that'll help. All right, you got it in. Lots of dried fruit, and plums? the prices seem a little better at Sam's, and more variety we get dried plums? than Sam's, rather. But, I don't know. Um, plums, dried plums? Oh, that sounds gross. <laughs> They're football shape. <laughs> I'm looking for sprouted green bread. I don't know if I'm gonna find it here. Seven yeah. green, multi-grain with omega-3. No bagels, no tortillas. Just these. Actually, we might just do this for tortillas. Yeah. We usually do whole grain, but, or whole wheat at least. But we'll do these. Okay, how many are in these? Many of these? 
<laughs> Are you excited about white? <laughs> Looks like it's two 15 packs, so 30. How many tortillas did I write that we need all together? Micah, how many tortillas? 100? So that's 30, 60, let's just do 90. They said they're done. Oh, okay. Nana and Bella and Toya are done. <laughs> Those do look good. Yeah, they do. Now that sounds good. Just a pizza crust. How pizza easy. Pizza? Found the girls. Nana's doing the frozen and she yeah. found Ezekiel bread. I, I wanted five. Here's their cart. They did frozen. What else did you do? Frozen and? We did frozen and dairy. And dairy. Oh, so gosh. So because we usually get everything at Sam's Club, we have to like uh, estimate how big every container was. <laughs> it was that hard. Because sometimes mom wrote down something like, you just wrote it down. Like, one. But I figured you one. would know. Well, oh, they do have veggie. Ezekiel bread. That's yeah. awesome. This is made right out of veggies and stuff, and it's so good. Really? Veggies. How many? Sarah. Yum. I, I wanted five, so maybe just two packages. I could do four. We couldn't find bagels, so I gotta figure out what else to do for breakfast for bagels. And they already found lots of cream cheese. <laughs> Here comes the other pearl. Uh, you got bread, huh? Yeah. Did I tell you to get bread? No, I just was looking through this uh, to see if it's not done. Like what? No, so I couldn't find the cleaning stuff, the banana. Okay. The I can get that on Amazon. Find the hand soap. Oh. Indian soap's over by the. No, that's down there. It's by the medicine. Oh, okay. And then I couldn't find on the fresh side. Cilantro and salad. The large carrots, we got the baby carrots, we need the big ones. Couldn't find green onions, coleslaw, cilantro, kale. Oh my goodness. Unless they have it somewhere else. You know, did you go into the place that the whole thing is called? Oh shoot. Okay, that looks good. So does that. Superfood veggie bowl. They even have this here. You hear that screaming? That's my child. <laughs> In case you thought we weren't normal. <laughs> Destiny's having a full on meltdown. This Picked up this. It's a lot cheaper than something. Oh, it is. Well, coffee. than what I saw there. Last nice. Night, last night. And then I picked up this almond butter too. With a little sweetener. It's a great treat. They kind of freaked out about the three carts. <laughs> It'll take a minute. Okay, that one's not us. <laughs> we're waiting. We're letting Solo take care of everything. Okay, we're doing lunch here at Costco. Do you know which one's Killing two birds with one stone. Their hot dogs are good, just like Sam's Club. <laughs> I don't eat the bread, by the way, but they're really good anyway. Destiny eats my bread. <laughs> she doesn't like the meat. Uh, She's vegetarian. <laughs> she really doesn't get the meat. All right, let me show you what we got. Couldn't find bagels, so we switched to waffles. The kids will love that. <laughs> Once a week, we have bagels usually, so we just put the cream cheese back. Just did waffles. I think I told you we did find Ezekiel bread, so we got four loaves of those. This huge bag of onions. Big thing of grapes. There's a box of diapers. Showed you the rice and flour already. I'm just doing this haul right outside here. <laughs> we got quite a bit of bananas. How many bananas did you get? Six things he thinks. And then he found romaine lettuce. It looks like the hearts are a little smaller than the ones we get at Sam's, but that'll work. The only thing, there were only a few things we couldn't find. Cilantro, green onions, those didn't surprise me at all. And then big carrots that we would do with roasts and the potatoes. So big carrots, cilantro, and onions. We've got a couple things of strawberries, a couple things of blueberries down here, all those bananas. There's some tomatoes, a big bag of oranges, and the rest is pantry items that I already showed you. Oh, here's another thing of tomatoes, so. Two things of cherry tomatoes. Then there's a couple more things of oranges, the smaller oranges this time. I think those in there are the big ones. Then we picked up some larger tomatoes. These we like to put, especially because we're grilling burgers that we already had uh, this month. So those are great for that. And then just other things. Sometimes you just want a big tomato. <laughs> Two huge bags. These are 15 pound bags of 
potatoes. So we'll get to eat lots of potatoes. The kids love those. We do baked potatoes for lunches at least once a week. And then down here we have some avocados and we're making shrimp tacos. So we got a big bag of limes, but we'll find other ways to use those limes when cooking. Hope open the oranges, he said. <laughs> Must have been hungry. There's a big thing of toilet paper and some pull-ups. And he got the coffee. I think I may have shown you that in the store. There's another bag of avocados. That's nice. And then the, their um, sour cream were smaller, so she told me she got four of these. And I think three or four blocks of this cheese. We got this triple zero yogurt. It's like no sugar, no artificial sweeteners, and no fat. So Solo likes to eat those. Here's the other two sour creams on the other side of the box. Oh, I guess there were four blocks of that cheese. And then a couple things of uh, cottage cheese. Those are also smaller than what we normally can get at Sam's Club. And two huge Greek yogurts. Those look a little bigger. Nana's dealing with bad attitudes over here. <laughs> She's telling them you need to give each other a kiss. <laughs> okay, we picked up taquitos. Uh, two boxes of these because we needed just an easy dinner for tonight so that's what the kids love this i don't know the adults will find something else to eat i think we have leftover roast we can put on salad or something um but those are really good that'll be just for an easy dinner tonight there's strawberries i noticed a lot of their stuff is organic that's true at sam's club too but there's a lot of it there and then some mixed berries we love the those frozen fruits for the mangoes they love just snacking on, but the frozen berries we really like in smoothies. Oh, tons of mozzarella cheese. I asked her, I put that on the list that my mom did and she found huge bags of it. So that's good. The good thing about shredded cheese is it can go in the freezer. Thank you. <laughs> the tilapia we got for a dinner. That bag seems heavier than our normal. And then the, this is all butter. Uh, the yellow ones are unsalted and those must be salted. So there's plenty of that. This is lunch meat for the week or the month. Two big things of that. So we won't have lunch meat all the time. We do peanut butter and jelly a lot for the kids too. Because I know this lunch meat isn't like the healthiest. Oh, it's no nitrates added though. We eat. That's good. Healthier than what we normally have been buying. Here, Judah, this one's done. And here's a bunch of frozen stuff. We've got some chicken breasts. We have some of this at home. Two bags, of, large bags of string cheese. Two things of shrimp, because we're gonna do shrimp tacos again. That's a dinner we've been loving, but we'll have company when we do it this month. And I think there's four bags total, or three bags total of mangoes. We still had one in the freezer, and another bag of blueberries. There's some of our bread in there. So, Lots of things to try to fit in the freezer. We bought a whole cow this month, so this is gonna be a challenge fitting all this in the freezer, but that's helped us not have to buy much meat. Under there are eight milks. You see four, but there are four behind it too. And then there's three large boxes of eggs, just the same size I think that we get at Walmart usually, and a thing of Diet Coke. And one more box over there, let me see. Oh, some yogurts. So we had some at home, so we only needed one box. Not sure if I showed you that before. Those are baby wipes. All right, that was a lot. We got it all. And the nice thing is, I was able to show you while we were putting it in the car. So we won't have to bring it all in the house, lay it all out and show you, and then put it away. So it does save a step. Um, everybody's hot and tired, but that's okay. We're going home. It's nap time. We'll put all this food away quick and rest. Our total there was $952, I think. So we didn't have to buy a lot of meat, that helped. I don't normally get my stuff all at one store, like a bulk store. I normally do shop at Sam's Club, but I usually also shop at Aldi and Walmart, so I was just trying to cut down on the stores. I am six months, did we figure I'm six months <laughs> pregnant? Six months. <laughs> yeah, energy is low. <laughs> and my normal grocery budget is $1,300, and we're gonna have to get those a few items like cilantro, green onions, and coleslaw. Those are the basic things that we couldn't get here. So that's easy. We can do that at a grocery store real near our house, pick that up. Otherwise, $1,300, I have plenty of space to get that and get some fruits and vegetables and milk in the middle of the month as well. So we did really well. Um, having a lot of meat at home helps 
the budget for sure go farther but it was nice to get it all from one store and to see what Costco had although my mom and solo did a lot of the other parts so I didn't see every part but I found a lot of cool stuff a lot of good stuff I'm not sure if I would keep coming back all the time because Sam's Club does the free pickup service <laughs> that's what they don't have yet that I know of here's most of it Woo now the work is putting it away all right guys let me show you a miracle here that is the garage fridge. It's packed deep. I literally prayed on the way home. <laughs> Lord, help us put all this in. Oh, that's a good kind of prayer to have to pray. And it was a miracle. It's totally, I don't think there's anything else that can fit. Here's our freezer that we've had for a long time. It's completely full for food for the month plus the cow. <laughs> It's basically food for the month plus a cow. And this is our new freezer that is mostly the cow, but we fit some chicken breasts in there and there's some waffles. We had to take them out of the box to fit them in and two bags of shrimp, more waffles. Wow. Here's the inside stuff. My mom's helping me. We'll store the fruit outside the fridge, but since it's full blast summer here, it goes bad faster. So as the fridge empties out a little, we'll move the fruit to the fridge. Same goes with bread. We'll store it outside the fridge. As the fridge or freezer have room, we shove them in there. When we do it that way, things don't go bad. Just have to be strategic a little bit, but otherwise this stuff will be easier than the garage situation, <laughs> which was a miracle. I think I missed this in the cart, but this is baby carrots. It's the big carrots we couldn't find that we will have to buy. But I do kind of like that it's a big package like Sam's Club, but it's divided in two. So this is my sweat rag. <laughs> it's divided in two, so that helps it stay fresher longer. The pull-up box looks a lot bigger than the one I normally get from Sam's Club. And the diapers, I think, are about the same. We went to our local Iraqi store that has a lot of imported stuff, and we picked up three bags of this. I already ate one of them before I could show you. These are just ndengu or mung beans. It kind of depends on where you're from, how you say it, <laughs> how, what you call them. So there were three bags of this. Plus, we had three bags of digestive cookies. I'll insert a picture here. Those did not last to this video. <laughs> and our total there, all right right up here because I don't remember. It is about five days later and I went to a local grocery store called Super Saver just to get the rest of what I needed. I feel like they have some things that are a better deal there and some things that are a worse deal. Pretty much like every grocery store but I'm not interested in running around town a lot and this one is close to me and they always have um, chopped spinach and chopped collard greens frozen and I really wanted that so that's why I picked that store. So I got four of those, and they're like $1.98 for these big bags. We use that to make Sakuma Wiki, so I tried to stock up a little. I think, Solo, do you use two bags of each when you make one meal for us? I usually do two collard greens and one spinach. Oh, he'll use two of these and one of these for that meal. So that's one of our vegetarian meals. I, try, I get this stuff sometimes at Walmart, but they're often out of it. And last time I got a bunch of frozen spinach there, it was all recalled for E. coli, and I had to take it all back. And the lady asked me, why in the world do you have eight bags of spinach? <laughs> oh, brother. We have family in town this weekend. My brother, sister-in-law, and niece and nephew are here. And my mom. So we're going to grill some steaks, I think, for one meal. And this is just a treat for the kids, the fries to go with it, and whatever vegetable we do. And then this is a treat for the adults, I guess. Most of them are sticking on plans, so it's good to have some mashed cauliflower. We like this. This stuff is kind of nasty alone, but if you put cheese and bacon bits and stuff in this, it actually tastes really good. Kind of like mashed potatoes. So that's what we are doing. Uh, they also usually have a good deal there for cilantro, and I needed a lot of that. So they're nice big bushels. I think they were 98 cents a bushel. And then, yes, our vegetables and fruit come in a lot of plastic. That is how it is sold here. I know if you're from a different country than us, you probably have noticed that because a lot of people comment about that and that's just how it's sold here a lot of times and I needed a lot of carrots and unfortunately it was not it's not like a bulk grocery store so I had to get four bags of carrots and I forgot to bring my own little bag for produce so here's 20 peaches they did have Colorado peaches for 98 cents a pound so I got like 20 of them and then 
not bulk again. We have some broccoli slaw. I think this is a mix of broccoli, oh yep, green cabbage, carrots, and red cabbage. And we're making shrimp tacos tonight. Um, our company is arriving tonight for dinner. So if I can find that recipe, I just found it online. I will link it below because it's a really good one. And I've shared it on Instagram before. Let me show you the treats I got, especially because we have company. I got a couple things of LaCroix. This will also help me pare back or maybe quit Diet Coke. I'm always quitting Diet Coke. And um, yes, I know it's bad for me. It's okay, you don't have to tell me that. And then we are going with the cheap popsicles this time. So some freezer pops. I think two bags, they're 36 each, was about, it was less than $7 for two bags. So sometimes you just gotta go with the cheap ones. And then we got some cookies and cream ice cream for the weekend and my nephew is dairy free so I picked up this ice cream and here's some like on plan ice creams and this one is literally because I went in that grocery store hungry my favorite thing in the world is white chocolate and I just wanted to try this so one day when I feel like not being on plan <laughs> I will eat this if I get to it before anybody else I'm gonna hide it in that freezer all of that was a hundred and three dollars altogether my total now is whatever, I'll write it up here. Just two stores. So I think that shopping at Costco was definitely not the most affordable thing. It was really interesting to see all they had. My overall thoughts is they have a lot of good healthy options. I really liked it. I don't think I'm gonna switch right now because I don't think they have the free pickup services Sam's Club, Sam's Club has. And so I'm not ready to switch over, but it was really fun to try it out. I I do think it was not the best deal because we didn't buy much meat and it was we still spent quite a bit of our budget. We didn't save as much as we should have. Um, but it was what it was this month. It was easy. I had a lot of help. It was a good month to try it out. And now I know what Costco offers. So I have enough money to buy my fruits and vegetables in the middle of the month. But over the next couple months, because we did buy a whole cow, I should see a bigger savings, I think, in my grocery budget month to month, and I'm planning to and hope to. Probably when I get back to shopping at all four stores, so you get the best deal at each store. Thank you guys for watching today. Next month, I wanna do another challenge. I'm trying to talk my family into going vegetarian. They say no. <laughs> so maybe like um, a one ingredient food challenge or something else. If you have a good idea for me, you can leave it down below and we'll talk to you soon, bye.